And uh, where are we going with the first race of the day? Harlan Cup making a good start from towards the inside. Who's going to come to? No Dave Mears has had machine problems during the practice and unfortunately has had to pull out of the meeting. So it is then Harlan Cup to lead. Lining up then for race two, first in on the 250 solos, Holland Cup run on the inside, the middle of the previous race on the 500, who's going to get the drive coming out of the start, Mickey Allen's made a good start coming out of the start. Peter is next to that. 
Race two is on to enter number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number seventeen, correct Josh Jingle. And third number seventy-seven, Mickey Allen. Seventy. Forty-five. Twenty-eight. Twenty-two. And sorry, eighty-two and eighty-one. Eighty-two is seven. 81 is 8. 1 minute 33.69. 1 minute 33.69. Oh. Reason Van Isley dropped back to the field was in fact he lost his steel shoe during the course of the race, so obviously that makes it very difficult indeed, so that's why he was dropping back to the field during that heat of the 250 solos. Race 3, combination of cadets and juniors. Obviously the cadets and juniors, although they're racing together, the points will be kept separate. They're back to the Going in her back pair of best pushing hard in second place, but then hangs on to third. O'Keefe has got the fourth place position, that's the top four. Thomas Hodgson in sixth place, that's the uh, top six. They come into view for the second time then in Place. Running now, coming under pressure from O'Keefe, and now going to the third, running back to four, one, two, one, two, fifth, that's Connor Hoffman, he's flying, fifth, eight, Hoffman, second, Luke Harris, the five, you're back in second place, Luke, you're usually flying, but in the junior class, he's got an awful lot to do with the back of the field at the moment, though, as we look at the lead, that's still coming, Walker, the lead, is Hoffman, Edmonton, all the same, they're getting onto that marker, going in to that top corner, O'Keefe now, we take that fifth, third place, and running from the back of the field, as he goes on that back straight once again then, but it's still Walker the clear leader from best holding that second place position. He's to a long way clear of O'Keefe. Now coming under pressure of Brennan again. Brennan retakes the third class. Walker leads the one to four. Best is definitely getting closer in second place. O'Keefe and Brennan scrapping it out for third and fourth position. Brennan's now gone for the third relegation. O'Keefe to four. Harrison now up to five. He's got the third and fourth place rounders in his side to the two Walker leading that top turn 40 from all time. Edmund Best the closest he's been so far. Can he put him effort on this last call? It's Callum Walker that gets him when he rides. the best. Brennan's got still got that third. I'll keep him four. Luke Allen's getting very close in five after a dreadful start. He's carved his way through in the fifth place. Can he get to these third and fourth place riders? Three of us coming out of that final quarter. And Luke Harris has certainly got fourth. He may well have got third as well with that last touch to the running for the line there. Race three was on to win for number 82. Callum Walker. Second number 35, Edmund Best. And third number 7, Tom Brennan. 26, 41, 121, 36, and number 9. 1 minute 42.47. 1 minute 42.47. Just heard news there was a non-starter in the 500 sidecars, unfortunately Nick Radley uh, will not be with us, he's injured, he's back at work this week, so he will be a non-starter in the uh, 500 sidecars, so we're looking for Josh Goodwin, Simon Beard, Dave Carville and Rob Heath, should be the 4 out pit stop, race number 4, first leg, 500 sidecars. Starter walks away, takes 12 from the first into the 500 solo summer beers, made a good solo strike in just
Carl while we were watching Ruth in third place these two start to get away in the first heat of the five from inside cars then as Goodwin still leads his end from being hold in that second place. Carvel is in third, equal distance between these three. They're coming on to complete the open lap, and Goodwin still leads his Back round the outside, Dave Carvel getting close in third as they race down the back straight once again. Rob, he's back in fourth place in third, makes a big move round the outside. Goodwin, Goodwin comes again back on the inside there, went much too wide, he's gone from first to third. Dave Carvel getting back there, he's in fourth place. Goodwin slowly but surely building a little bit of a lead at the front. Simon Beard again, big effort round the outside of that top turn. Cuts it back for the inside run, but can't close it up on Goodwin. Carvel to his third, three of us going in, that top corner. Dropping back in fourth, eight, over the back straight once again. It's still good for the lead from the Beard, having another good go on the entry for that top corner. Going to try the outside run again. Dave Carvel dropping back slightly in third place. Josh Goodwin goes wide, Simon Beard comes to the inside. Second is Simon Beard, third place Dave Carvel, and fourth place is Robby. Race four result to win for number three, Josh Goodwin, and we think it's Anthony Goodwin in the chair. Second, number four, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. And third, number 55, Dave Carville and Carl Webb. Fourth, number 18. One minute, 36.41. One minute, 36.41. On the line then, the five leg bits for race number five, second leg of the 500 sidecars. Struggling for grip and the start, Gary South is very good start to stop. <laughs> Very impressive at the front, blew his engine in his second ride at Worcester last Sunday after convincingly winning his opening heat. He looks pretty impressive at the front at the moment. It's uh, still the Race 
five years old to win it for a 118 Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. And third, 971, Dean Norton and Joe right. Richmond. 46, 99. One minute, 36.16. One minute, 36.16. Dave Mears will be out on the 350. It's just damage to the 500 that stops him riding in that class. This first hit on the 350 is race number six, and it's a uh, Andrew Whittaker needs to lock together the second and third places as King Jim Lee, Smith has got through on him so Whittaker is running a back round the outside Dave Mears holds that ball Dave Mears holds that ball It's still Swift hanging on to that second Mears, making him move around the edge, so Whittaker leads to shoulder to shoulder. The third and fourth place is in the top of the to win for number 8, Vince Kinchin. Second, number 33, Richard Smith. And third, number 17, Andrew Whitaker. 19, 61, 18, 84, 82, and number 9. 1 minute 28.85, 1 minute 28.85, race 7, youth auto cadets, this will be over 3 laps. Where we go then with this scene from the youth auto connect and uh, number 59 has made a cracking start and Chad Whitsall has made a cracking start is already clear at the front end for number 8. Tyler Springer is in second place, number 30 Morgan Blind is in fourth and uh, just a three so Lily May Walker has not come out to pull this one so just the three auto cadets and it is uh, with sound, he's made a cracking start already reversed the length of the strength clear the front from uh, Morgan Blind second, second, Tyler Springer is in third, the uh, Young Brigade, the stars of the future, and uh, with sound is really storming away at the front as he completes that lap, increases lead all the time, waiting for the second place rider to come across the uh, finishing line to complete that lap, but it's uh, Chad with sound of really, really a long way clear at the front. From number eight, Tyler Springer, who's got the second place position. Tyler Springer is in second, target Morgan Bly in third. Target number 30, and on this big track is the uh, leader who's about to uh, last in third place final. Number 69, Chad with sound, well clear at the front then. From Springer in second, Bly is in third. 
the second place while we're just about to enter that uh, top corner as we uh, see the leader going into that top corner for the uh, final time. So, uh, coming out of that uh, top corner, it is going to be number 69, Chad Wurtnall, who gets the winning line. Second place will be number 8, Tyler uh, Springer. And third, number 30, Morgan Blythe. Revving up then for race number eight, closed in on B375 solo. Chris Mack in the additional programme is the first one to run by the In the second place, finding Marley is on the third, that will be top three. So you're on the wood in fourth place, they're going to the back straight for the first time. Mack it leads it in 17 seconds. Marley trying to close the gap in third. So on the wood, that's gone through into fourth. That's the top pull, a bunch of ever first and second place is Mackin on the inside side. Closing up on uh, Keith Snelling in that race for second and third places. Matthew looks behind him, he's going to be able to score it. Snelling on the front of the This first seed of the 375 solo, Snow in for holds that second and Barley in third. These feel like we're clear of John Underwood. In fourth, and he gets the winning line. Second place, Keith Snow. Third place goes to Barley. It's going to be tight for fourth and fifth. John Underwood will look at Moe Nader may have come late and missed that place to John Underwood. Then Chris Smith then brings up Tim Greatings. Race 8 result to win for number 68, Chris Mackey. Second number 44, Keith Snelling, and third number 5, Lee Barley. 77, 246, 73, and 337. One minute 39.30, one minute 39.30. And number 5 also a non-starter for race number 9. Number nine, second heat of the 500 solos. Up and running up in the Vince King to make the start that he has made the best of the time. Now 
long way to the Institute of Fairfax consolidating that third place position as Cook is the leader on the board. Number seven, Harlan Cook. Second, number eight, Vince Kinchin. And third, number 14, Stuart Mears. 12, 91, 267, and 92. One minute, 28.91. One minute, 28.91. Race 10 is the youth enters. interesting racing in this uh, youth intermediate some of the real quick intermediates uh, are in action here off of the way full group intermediates always good to see Adam Port has made a good start from towards the inside of the top. Back round the outside, this penalty is going on the back straight for the first time. 
Nelly goes through and goes to the second and Peter Baker has come from absolutely nowhere when in that corner four he's come out in first place and four of us coming out again coming out of that fifth corner Baker leads it. He's on the shoulder, Peter Baker going to that back straight once again, Baker leads him and Dorman in second. And then now he goes back to now goes back to the third, and one time race did it, Arnie Punk now goes back to fourth. As Baker leads it, Evan Fenner in second, Snellin's got the third, Wells is in fourth place. That's the top four in the first, he does the up line. He's got the top on the last lap race. He's got the top four in the third, he's got the top four in the third. He's got the top four in the third, he's got the top four in the third. He's got the top four in the third, he's got the top four in the third. He's got the top four in the third, he's got the top four in the third. He's got the top four in the third. Wells definitely getting closer in third. Keeps Nelly not too far behind in fourth. And Peter Baker gets the winning line. Then the hand on in second. Wells gets third. Nelly gets in fourth. Are you fine? And Murray Joyce in sixth. Seven. Followed by 81. Third point. Five number three. Then me. Good racing now in race number 11, the first in of the upright solos, a win for number 1, Peter Baker. Second number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third number 70, Gary Wells. 44, 5, 57, 82, 81, 3, the winning time, 1 minute 37.13. 0.13 On the line then for race number 12, no heat on the uh, upright solos. Gets her on the inside, leader of Lee, Evan Taylor holding that second place position. Good strap also going on for third and fourth place. Is Dave Needham goes wide. Taylor comes back on the inside of the In the third place, the line has got stuck to fourth place. And the back place they go once again and need him. Three at the front then from Taylor in second. He's now coming under pressure for that second. No. Ian Guthridge come out this time for this heat on the upright solos. So Building a big lead, they're bunching up 40 mile of place in 199 mark in French now goes through in the second relegating tank to the third and line and trying to get around into the table to take that third place position. Need a reason on the Race 12 result to win the 364 Dave Needham. Second, 199 Martin French. And third, 246 Barry Liner. 84 and 189. 1 minute 43.44, 1 minute 
So track in uh, race 13, Paul Johnson, Colin Blackburn, Steph Fly, Mark Costa, Rod Winderburn, this should be an absolute cracker. Who's going to make the start? Mark Costa just about made the start. Paul Johnson's run away with him. Winderburn's on the outside. Colin Blackburn is back in fourth place. Jeff Fly is in finally moving to the top corner. For the first of Mark Costa gets moved over there by Winderburn and goes through on the inside. No uh, quarter given upon that first corner as Mark Cossel is. Winderburn's hunting him down there in second place. Each are getting away from Paul Johnson's up the third. Colin Blackburn somewhat subdued back in forward. Step fly in fifth place. Coming out of that top turn once again. Super big Second place is still Johnson in two with Blackman in four, Blind five. Off the back straight they go once again. The gap the same between first and second. They're getting away from Paul Johnson, hanging on to that third place position. It's still Mark Foster with new passing for this year. Trying to close the gap there in second place, and Costa gets away going down that back straight. Costa and Briley from Winterburn and Brown in second. It's still Paul Johnson hanging on to third. He's checking back, goes out there. Oh, 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 Race 13 was on. Very impressive stop there for the Masters champion. Number 37, Mark Costa and Carl Bly. Second, number 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. And third, number seven, Paul Johnson and Andy Wood. 25, and number 30. One minute, 18.47. One minute, 18.47. If I know if it's on the line then for race number 40. Yeah. Where we go in with a seat on the 1,000cc sidecar, John Stafford's made a good start, looks like Simon Bean has gone through, Gareth Winnibin hasn't made the best of starts, he's gone through in the second place, and looking to try and get through on the inside of that first corner, two abreast coming out of that first corner, but it's a holding that second place position, Stafford has got the third place, that's the uh, top three, and one out that already pulled on the middle of the track, that's number 67, Dan Crawford with Andy Wilson in the chair. They pull off the track and Hansen is trying to push Donald in there to get back into the engine. There's Gareth Winnie with us in the end. Winterburn and Ben Malloy, they're getting away at the front. John Stafford hunting down uh, Simon Bean and Dave Hitler for that uh, race for second and third races. Is in fourth place. And we've got uh, Dan Crawford got going again back in fifth place as a leader, Gareth Winderburg with Ben Malloy in the chair. He's going in for the something coming off the uh, I think it's a sidecar cover. The sidecar wheel came off half the other back straight, but Gareth Winderburg again. Race 14. Race 14 is on to win for number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Ben Malloy. Second, number 76, Simon Veeney and Dave Vidler. And third, number 81, John Stafford and Lee Jones, who gets a final warning from the clerk of the course for taking out pegs in race 14. That's number 81, John Stafford, your final warning. Then 362 and 67. 1 minute 24.47 1 minute Track is ready for action on the line then for race 15, second leg of the uh, 250 solos. Tony Master making a good start. 
Number 16, a combination of cadets and juniors over four laps. Hopefully, everybody gets away in this combination of juniors. Again, come and walk and make an absolute crappy start. Here's how it's going. And it is. Uh, Moving in the back straight then for the first time. It is uh, still. Uh, Callum Walker's got the advantage going into that top corner then from Luke Harris in second. Edmund Best making a big move round the outside looking for that second place and it's still Callum Walker. Harris shoulder to shoulder in second and third place. Harris shoulder to shoulder in second and third place. Harris shoulder to shoulder in second and third place. Harris shoulder to shoulder in second and third place. Thomas Hodgson holds that seventh place position and still Walker is the leader then. From best holding second place and starting to close the gap and on Callum Walker. And this is second heat of the
and number nine. One minute forty two point one nine. One minute forty two point one nine. Well, we go on then to race 17, delete number 21, delete number 10 from race 17. Should give us the four outfits of Scott Dunn, Natasha Barker, impressive winners first time out. Gary said they got a second, Josh Goodwin won his opening ride, and Dave Carville got a third in his first outing. Coming up then for race number 17, another heat of the 500 sidecars. Away they go, everybody getting away. Scott done made a good start from the inside, but it's just a good Second car comes up the third side, catches in fourth place, that's the fourth extreme. Down the back straight on the open, that's then Goodwin on the inside, forcing Scotland to go right around the outside, but Scotland, Powers around the outside, Dave Carver trying to get to on the inside, Josh Goodwin, super action, the start of the second out of the five of his side car. Looking to make it two to two in the heats of the 500 side cars. It's Carvel and Weber holds that second, and Goodwin and Goodwin hanging on to that third. Close the gap in second. Josh Goodwin coming back for more in third. Close the gap on the exit from that to top corner on second place. What a day, Carville. But it's Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkett. Make you make it two to two in the heat of the final good side car. <laughs> Race 17 result to win for number 118 Scott Dunn, Natasha Barclay. Second number 55, Dave Carville and Carl Webb. And third number 3, Josh Goodwin and Adrian Goodwin. Fourth number 44. 1 minute 34.43. 1 minute 34.43. Five riders on the line then for race number 18. Up and running then for race number 18, the start of the second leg of the 500 sides of the North As Beard leads it then for North in second, it's Hollandale holding third, with uh, Rob Heath holding that fourth place position. Falls on to the middle of 
for Holy Master Clyde Fisher. And the start to get away to front end Mark Kearns of Pastor there getting away from Dean Norton and uh, Joe Richmond in that second place position. Equally spread now these four ends. <laughs> Race 18 result to win for number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. Second number 971, Dean North and Joe Richmond. And third number 46, Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith. Fourth number 99, 1 minute 33.03. 1 minute 33.03. Race 19, delete number 1, Tom Perry, putting number 84, Gordon Walker. Bob Dolman from race number 19 on the seat here, but Tom was there for Bob. So on the line then for race 19. Well, the game will be 
week of the uh, usual day cadets and once again Chad uh, works on the drop on the mark at the front it's uh, Morgan Blige in second and uh, Tyke Taylor Springer in third and it's a big track for these little boys to go around but uh, Chad with the sound is really strong in the market at the front he's well clear the front of the two have a change of position for second and third place yes we do it looks like uh, Taylor Springer has gone through in the second and they gave you more than blind to third place position but uh, Chad really storming away at the front there and he seems to be auto cadet he's already a long way clear in this spring lap race so these uh, stars of the future number eight uh, Taylor Springer has got the second place with Morgan Bly in third. As they complete that race, it is uh, worth told really well clear the front there from Springer in second. Bly is in third place. So again, no Lily May Walker out this time. As the last lap flag being made ready again. Impressive stuff. And right at number 69, Chad worked on well, well clear the front again in his second leg of the uh, Auto Cadet. Taylor Springer still second with Morgan Bly in third. The leader going down the back straight. Well, we'll probably get to the second and third place runner before this race is completed. Chad's work sound well clear up front. It's still number eight. Taylor Springer holding on to that second place position. Morgan Bly is in third and he will in fact lap the third place on this and press this up again from number 69 that's Chad Wurzel, the winner of race 20 second goes to number 8 Taylor Springer and third number 30 Morgan Bly On the right then for race number 21, the leg will be pre-75 solos and it's Chris Lewis made it back in start by the has got the third line in fourth, Keith Snowy's come from nowhere to go through in the fourth place. So it is Chris McAdoo still in the march in the front then for Underwood holding that second, Snowy's gone from the third, Smith drops back the fourth line and it is in five. Looks like Lee Barley in sixth place, up the top six, then it's back in his feet. Seven kids, eight kids in ninth place. That's an iron day swing together that straight once again in race number 21. Chris Mackett, the conviction winner, the first year of the 375, while in control at the moment. And having said that, John Underwood start the close of the gap there in second place. These two getting away into the third place while in the fourth Very quick on the entry to that third pitch corner, closing up slightly on Chris Mackett, but Mackett seems to know exactly where he is and he's off the ball. He's trying to close the gap in second, a wide running piece, so he's not going to the third, fourth and fifth places. As first and second look to be several, Barl has now gone to the third, Snelling relegated to four, Swinton in five, as Liga Mackett into that fifth corner for the final time in race number 21, Chris Mackett gets the second. It's going to be tight for third and fourth, Lee Barley on the beach side against third, Snelling, four, Smith, five, Lyman, six, seven, Greg Vinci, eight place. Race 21 resolved to win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 77, John Underwood. And third number 5, Lee Barley. 44, 73, 246, 29, and 337. Winning time, 1 minute 36.82. 1 minute 36.82. Message from the middle of the track, all dog owners, will you make sure your dogs are on leads, please? There are some loose dogs, and obviously we do not want any accidents for dogs racing across the track when the action is at its quickest. So if you've got a dog here today, please keep it on its lead. Thank you.
Ready then for race number 22, second leg of the 500 solos. Holland oh, took a very busy afternoon to make this start. <laughs> Top corner in third place, up to going in the about eighth place, and sets about chasing Adam Filmer for the second place position. Yellow flags are out, one arrow to Salmon Pease, it's fallen upon that top corner, quickly back on his bike as they actually get to win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number eight, Vince Kinchin. And third number 24, Adam Filmer. 56, and rod number 56, Richard Reed. This is your final warning. If you go out the pegs again, you will be deducted a place. He finishes fourth, number 56. And 57, 152, 91, 36, 267 and 92. 1 minute 28.69. 1 minute 28.69. And we've got a running start for the intermediates. We seem to have major problems with this 23rd race. Three or four get away and take the problems again. So we're at race 23 will have to be restarted. Apologies for this, I think they're best to get the tape sorted out, but uh, enjoy the sunshine and we will get race 23 away as quickly as possible. Where are we going? Finally, race number 23, the second leg of the week, the week, the week, the week, the week, for the first time, but he not has gone really well. He's lost two places there. Old agreement goes to in the second. James Shane's in third. Milk was in fourth. Portwood is in five. Bradley Smith is in six. That's the top six. But it's Jeff Collins who's stolen the march at the front. He's the man who's It's Collins, that spectacular song coming out of that fifth corner of the river takes a much tighter on the inside of Collins. Collins is just in Greenwood, holding up second place Greenwood, winning there's a move right in the outside of Ethan Hughes on the outside, Jeff Collins needs to run together, coming out of that fifth corner of Joe Collins, that's the other one. In the intermediate centre, the milk comes across the line. He's on line number 49. Further, number 50, Brendan Warbrook, and then number 33.
Race number 23, superb intermediate action. Away for number 35, Jeff Collins. Second number 311, Oliver Greenwood. And third number 93, James Shanes. 111, 721, 7, 49, 50, 17, 77, and 27. 1 minute 32.37. 1 minute 32.37. Race 24, delete 741 and delete 726. And we go into race number 24, the uh, second leg of the upright solo, delete 741 and 726. Yeah, that's the old boys, isn't it? Yeah. Good laugh, enjoy. Where are we going with race number 24? Take me to the last minute of the start of the race. On the outside of that top corner, Fenner holds it there as you go in the back straight, 41st on Baker has got the second, Wiles in third, Needham is in fourth place, that's the top four in race, number 24, and Solani Fenner with the advantage, he goes into the wide camp, he is able The extra time therefore, first and second place in the second leg of the upright so in fourth place, that's still the top four. Second number 32, Arnie Fenner, and third number 70, Gary Wells. 364, 199, 19, 81, 3, and 99. 1 minute 37.47. 1 minute 37.47 I'll be going with race number 25, another week of the upright solo, sorry if you were to make it to the Turn down the back spread on the opening lap then. Stanley Lee just barely trying to close the gap in second. Will he get through to Stanley on the entry to that top corner? He's two locked together for first and second place. And Joyce holds that third place. It's Stanley around the outside. Barley coming again up the inside line. Barley holding that second place, Barry Joyce has got the third. Walker is in four, Liner is five, Taylor in six. Still the top six in the seat of the upright. Keith Stanley again has gone really wide. Everyone holds on to the seat. He goes in the back straight once again. Stanley then pulling away then from Barley in that race to first and second. Still Joyce consolidating third place. 
leader again with contrasting styles of showing you what the body technique was trying to do. George has got the full grip, he's 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 got the Keith Sullivan, Lee Barney again looking to find a way through on the inside of that final corner. George gets closer in third place. Sullivan's wide again, can Barney squeeze through on the inside? Lee Barney gets second, George is in third. Barney is in third. Barney is in seventh place. Race 25 is on to win for number 44, Keith Snelling. Second number 5, Lee Barley. And third number 57, Barry Joyce. 84, 246, 82, and 189. 1 minute 41.03. 1 minute 41.03. Coming into line then for race number 26, back with the big chairs. Rod Winterburn, John Thorpe, Gareth Winterburn, Simon Beanie and Seth Bly are the uh, five eight which we're looking for. Gareth uh, Winterburn won his opening ride. Um, Rod Winterburn got a second place and it's one of the Winterburn crews that have got away at the front there. Beanie holds that second place. It's, Madden, it's Rod that's got away at the front there. And Gareth Winterburn drops back to fourth place. In fact, coming out of that top corner for the first time it is John Thorpe is in five, that's the point. They go off the back straight once again. And Gareth Winterburn beaten, Rod Winterburn beaten first time out. He's shoulder the march in front there. Gareth Winterburn looking to get a second place in Simon Bean, making a big move around the outside of that top corner. So it's a Winterburn one, two, one. Second beaten. Rod Winderburn, Liam Brown really turning on the power, going up that back straight. Gareth Winderburn and Ben Malloy hold that second place. Simon Bean has got the third. Much better rider this time than Steph Lyon. Jason Gilbert in fourth place. As he lost that back straight. Only Gareth Winderburn and Liam Brown in fourth place. Gareth Winderburn in second place. Gareth Winderburn in third place. Gareth Winderburn in fourth 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 place. Gareth Winderburn in
Jordan Beckham crossed in third, these two pulling away from John Stafford who's got that fourth place mission. Off the back straight they go once again, Blackmore leaves it and Johnson second crosser, a big drive round right the outside again, but still he's played back the third place now, cuts back for the inside of the off the back straight, once again again, Colin Blackburn very, very quick indeed going up that back straight. Johnson hangs on the second up the cross of Troy this time. Diving into that top corner on lap number four. It's Colin Blackburn Just hangs on the second with Cotter in third. Crawford is in fourth, and he seems to have lost to a contest on Saturday in fact back in fifth place. Super side car action, race number 27. Race 27, the winner number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Martin Bailey. Second number 7, that's Paul Johnson, Andy Wood. And third number 37, Mark Costner and Carl Bly. 67 and 81. 1 minute 18.72, 1 minute 18.72, race 28, delete number 16. And we go to race 28 then, third leg of the 250, delete number 16, Adam Schiff from race number 28. Everybody gets away, we're looking at Harwin Cook to make a good start along with Josh Dingley, two go to the point.
So they cross the finishing line, so I'll leave it to the lap scorers, but superb 500 side corruption in race number 30. Right, race 30 result, and what a super race it was. The win for number 55, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb. Second number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. And third number 3, Josh Goodwin and Anthony Goodwin. Fourth number 99. One minute. 33.56, 1 minute 33.56, race 31, delete number 10.
Well, they've got the five outfits on the line then for race number 31 of the heat of the... Oh, and that has gone straight over there. Looks like Dean North has gone straight over the side. We do have a red flag. Dean North has gone straight over at the start. One of the... I'm not sure if it's the rider or the passenger that's quickly up, but uh, one is down there. And so obviously that race stopped in the interest of safety, race number 31. So the riders are sandwiching for race number 32, the third leg of the 350 solos. Up and running then for race number 32. Place, he now goes through the third place, he's looking at second place, it's John Chain as they go in the back straight for the first time, Andrew Whitaker has stolen the mark, the front chain's old second, Faulkner is in third place, that's the top three, this third leg on the... Race number 31 with the exclusion of 971 D Norton. Four out of ten for restart of race number 31. Getting away from uh, Keith, who holds that fourth place position. Dropping back to fourth place, they may not be for second and third places. A soft run, the Tasha Barker clear up the front end. From so getting second on the other game, having to go for that second place is going so far. Go in the fifth corner of lap number two. Closer to the Gary Southgate, that race for second into the place. Just a little bit closer there to Gary Southgate, going down that back straight. 
about two right between these two, this race to second and third place is coming on with now. Make a move on that final corner as Scott Dunn and Natasha Barker pick up a little bit of a special race to the middle of the place. And he's got so many to go there. Drifted off the line on that final corner, and Richard Hollandale has gone through to pick up the second place position. Race 31 result to win for 118 Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay. Second number 46, Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. Fourth number 18. 1 minute 34.34, 1 minute 34.34. He does get that third place, and Dave Needham has dropped from third to fifth place, and coming under pressure, in fact, for that fifth place position, as it is Chris Matthews. He's coming back in sixth, Dave Needham is in seven, that's the top seven, as they go to the back straight, once again, he's lost the ride on that far side of the track, and Matthews has got away at the front, and now John Underwood looking for that second place of Chris Smith going in to that pitch corner on lap number two. Back at the just hanging on the second place. And then second place the second place is going to be third. Barney is in fourth, Nelling is in five, Yates in six, Ryan is up to seven. And we lost Jay Needham, who was in fifth place. He's on the middle of the track at the moment then. And we've also lost the race leader, Chris Mackett, I think. Where has Chris Mackett gone? We can't see the seat. Chris Mackett is probably from that top corner for Chris Mackett, so it's John Underwood and Lee Griffin. And then we can say Barker is in the third place, number four. Gates is in five, Lyman is in six, so Barker. And Chris Mackett is right over that far side of the track. He will find control at the front, so it's John Underwood and Lee. Down the back spread on lap number four. Boom, Barley holding that second. Smith has got the third. Snelling in four. Yates in five, so three rollers for later race. Number 34, as John Underwood gets his third race on the afternoon. Race 34, a win for number 77, John Underwood. Second number 5, Lee Barley. And third number 44, Keith Snelling. 73, 29, 2, 4, 6. 1 minute 40.69. 1 minute 40.69. Race 35, start of the fourth leg, off the 250 solos. On the line then for race 35, the fourth leg of the 250 solos. We get to a Mickey Allen May, had a good start. Gary Wells is the case, yeah. Five, Gary Wells is the Again, gets back by Allen. Ozzy holding a watching brief in third, looking to pick up the took the first two going into that pitch corner on the open lap. It's Mickey Allen on the inside. Gary Wells then. That's the top seven. They go in the back straight once again. It's Wells again coming under pressure with Allen. It's still Ozzy hanging on to that bug. That's all in fourth place, that's the top four, and again Gary Wells slips off the line, Mickey Allen again trying to get through all the east on the left. He's got back to seven, 
and put up seven big go to the back straight once again Van Isaac goes back to an inch and let Matt Sword to retake that third place Terry Mascom now moves up the fifth place and is chasing after the third and fourth place riders as Gary Wells is still the race leader going on to last after that one Terry Masson gets close in fifth, he goes in the fourth, he goes in the five, as it is Wells who leads from Allen in second, Saul took the third, Massingham in fourth, Isley is in five, Taylor is in sixth again, a shoulder to shoulder with first and second place is coming out of that fifth corner, Gary Wells on the inside, Mickey Allen coming right around the outside, Gary Wells is in second, Gary Masson is in third, Matt Saul is in fourth, and Isley is in five, Amy Taylor is in sixth, Peters is in seven, and one, two, one, eight, five. Race 35 then, with number 70, Gary Wells. Second number 77, Mickey Allen. And third number 213, Terry Massingham. 81, 82, 28, 45, and 121. We do those again. First number 70, second number 77, third 213. And 81, 82, 28, 45 and 121. 1 minute 38.03. 1 minute 38.03. Race 36, delete number 81. Delete number 19 as well for race number 36. Race number 36, fourth leg of the 500 solos. Everybody gets the clean break here, so they might come by the first time. across the line there. He will get the, he's done his three laps, so he will get the last place points for that uh, race number 36. Well done, Aaron. Race 36, to win for number 56, Richard Reed. Second number 14, Stuart Mears. And third, 152, Aaron Alvis Vale. 12, 24, 91, 18, 
and 92. 1 minute 30.53, 1 minute 30.53, and we go on to race number 37, another intriguing battle of the youth inters. Superb action in this intermediate class so far on the afternoon. What are we in store for in this race number 37? Takes play up, they all get away. Jet Collins makes another good start. Oliver Green has also made a good start again. Okay. Seven one by three one one. Second number thirty five, Jeff Collins, and third one one one, Adam Portwood. Seven two one. Forty nine. Seven. Fifty. Thirty three. Seventy seven. And twenty seven. The winning time one minute thirty three point four one. 1 minute 33.41, these are youngsters of course, if you compare this to the times, the one of the heats of the pre-75 is 1 minute 40.69, the 250 race is 1 minute, 1 minute 38.03, and in fact it's only it's less than 3 seconds slower than the last heat of the 500 solos, it just shows how quickly these youngsters go around this track. Race 38, delete 174 and delete 204. Where are we going with race number 38 on front solos again? Something's probably a lot of Shoulder of Arnie Fanny needs to lock together going down the back straight for the first time and Ronald drops him. Is that Lee Barney? Let's drop him while holding that third place. I'm sure it's Lee Barney to stand there. Over on that far side, we'll hold him in third place position. But it is Peter Baker's drop around the edge of Arnie Fanny. Closing up in third. Needham now coming under pressure with that fourth place position. 
To win for number one, Peter Baker. Second, number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third, number 70, Gary Wells. 44, 364, 199, 19, 5, 82, and 99. Race 39, delete 726 and 741. But Barry Joyce is well clear out the front from the table on the inside. Once again, Joyce is getting away at the front. The race can on the second and third places. Tanya still holds up to second liner again, trying to get around the outside. Walker gets close to him for the main action for second, third, and fourth place position. As Joyce is the clear leader, they can beat that one then. So Taylor has gone from second and fourth. He now retakes that third place. The liner again back round the outside. You're back to the second, third, and fourth place. And while this is happening, Barry Joyce is well clear at the front. He leads on to lap four then. Second number 84, Gordon Walker, and third, 246, Barry Liner. 189, 3, and 81. 1 minute 40.37, 1 minute 40.37. I'm going to go then to race 40, this should be a cracker, Simon Beanie, Rod Winterburn, Colin Blackburn, Paul Johnson, and John Stafford.
Well, they're going to receive the big chairs race number 44. Johnson made an absolutely storming start there. Winterboots are going to wait in second. Colin Blackwell not particularly quick away from from through in the third place. Stafford in four. Beanie's in five. Big movement for second place on the end side of that top corner. <laughs> Close on the shoulder, Winterburn's going out of that pit's corner. Can he get round the edge of Winterburn? Winterburn's turned tuck, turn tight. Colin Blackburn on his shoulder. Winterburn's coming in as Johnson leads him. Winterburn in second. It's Blackburn in third. Tremendous action between these three. But still, Paul Johnson has the ability to go to the top line. Winterburn's trying to get out of the top line. Winterburn's It's still Paul Johnson leading, going up that back straight once again. Rod Winderburn holds that second, they're just starting to get away from Colin Blackburn who's got the third place position at that top corner once again. Paul Johnson needs it from Rod Winderburn in second place. Johnson not moving the to the inside, he's trying to cut back on the edge of the Paul Johnson going up that back straight. Look at the speed of Winterburn going up that back straight. He's on the edge of the Paul Johnson. Johnson on the inside, Winterburn's around the outside. Winterburn's have gone too wide. Paul Johnson comes back to on the inside. Paul Johnson is going to run Winterburn. Third place is Tom Blackboard. Fourth Thomas. Fifth place, John Stafford. Fifth place, race number four. Fifth place, Tom Blackboard. Sixth place, John Race 40 result to winner number 7, Paul Johnson and Andy Wood. Second number 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. And third number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Martin Smith. 76 and 81. 1 minute 19 exactly. 1 minute 19 exactly. Across on the far side of the track, then for this heat of the uh, big chairs. Away they go, Mark Costigan hasn't made the best of starts. Gareth Winterburn's just on the drop, and look at Steph Line working his way from on the inside. Almost got into second place, he's back in third place. But Mark Costigan and Steph Line got away in the front from Gareth Winterburn and Ben Malloy. They hold the second place position then. Possibly. Blood still in the march at the front. They're starting to get away from Gareth Winderburn and Ben Malloy in second. Step fly, Jason Gill hang on to that third. And Crawford Andy Wilson in fourth. John Crawford is in fifth place. That's the high there. third leg of the big chairs and Mark Cosser and Carl Bly really storming away at the front there. Gareth Winderman and Ben Beloy can't close the gap at all there. He in second place. Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. Jeff Bly's got the sheet from us. Well, you know, the Falcon goes to into third. The ball that's pretty bad on that step line. Jason Gill holding a safe third place. Machine problems on that the third lap, but nobody can stop, stop Mark Costa in this one. He's Race 41 result to win the number 37, Mark Costa, Carl Bly. Second number 49, Gareth Winderburn, Ben Malloy. And third number 67, Dan Crawford, Andy Wilson. Fourth, 362. 1 minute 18.10. 1 minute 18.10. Race 42, there will be an interval after race 42. Delete number 1 and 116. For race number 42, there will be an interval after race 42. Up and away then with race number 42, which is the front. We're looking for the same to get to 
Mears is strong in the mark of 20 metres in the back straight for the first on Smith pushing hard in second place. These two getting away from Bolton in third, but Ward has got through into fourth place. Mears on the inside, Richard Smith making a big move right around the outside. For race number 43, the 250 solo final. It is like all the finals, a straight final. Starter walks away, and some of probably will have in front of their faces. Very much solid, he's just got a foot in front of his face. <laughs> Wells has got the third, Holland in four, Massingham is in five, that's the top five, Peter's Alter, sixth place, the in As Harlan Cook is clear at the front end, but Josh Jingle in second place. He's still getting away from Gary Wells, who's got the third. Peter's in four, Matt's already taking back from down the Seven, Harlan Cook. Second number 17, Josh Dingle. And third number 70, Gary Wells. Fourth number 81, Matt Saul. Fifth number 77, Mickey Allen. And sixth number 45, James Peters. Seventh, 
number 28. One minute 31.10. One minute 31.10. Oh, and we go to race 44, the Youth Cadets and Juniors for play. And on we go into race number 44, the fourth leg of the Youth Cadets and Juniors. Up for the take to where we go in race number 44, I've invested made a cracking start, William O'Keefe has gone with it. Tom Bowen is also... <laughs> Trying to stick off one of that top quick, it's around the edge of William O'Keefe, gets around the edge of Tom Brennan. He's on the shoulder of Luke Harris going down the back straight. Can he get to Edmund Best? They go down the back straight on the opening lap. He's already picked off four rodders to go through in the second place. But Edmund Best has made the best start, he's made all the afternoon. He's really going to make it count now as they come and complete the opening. The best lead just can work a hold of that second place position. Luke Harris is going to go Race number 44, of course that Sherrod made class conditions totally different but the youngsters are always coping with it very, very well indeed and that's the best really storming on at the front end from Callum Walker holding that second place position. Luke Harris has got the third, John Brennan in four, William O'Keefe is in five. That's the best lead, just for the last of the two. Walker can't seem to close the gap there in second place. Second, a wide one in the back mark is there, gets down one back mark, we'll pass to the back mark and now he moves on to lap four. That's his third to put from the walker in second place. Top corner walker in second place, Joe Harris hanging on to third, O'Keefe and Gary O'Keefe. Tom Brown is five, and that's still going into the fifth corner. Final time in race number 44. Yellow flames are out, do we have a rod down from that top corner? He's on the top, he's on that top corner, Edmund Best gets the winning ride. Second place is going to be uh, Callum Walker. Third place will be uh, Luke Cannon. Fourth, William O'Keefe. Five, Tom Brennan. Where are they going with race number 46, which is the last leg of the um, 375 over the two missing from this last leg of the 77, John Underwood, who was very much in contention for this uh, 375 class. Chris Mackich knocked him out as well, and John Underwood, the fact, was leading going in to this last leg. He's got machine problems, so Keith Snelling then is the race leader coming out of that pitch corner for the uh, first time. He takes the one on the Race down the back straight then once again. It is Keith Snow starting to pull away at the front end. Chris Smith has now gone back through in the second place. Barry Langer has got the third. Deeper on is in fourth. We have Frank Gates in fifth place. That's the five. Snow looks to hide. He was got a big lead now. He needs his fourth leg on the field. 75. Still fifth. He's got that second. He's got that second. Lee Barley now hunted down that second place off Chris Smith. Frank Yates goes through the fourth. So Lena has gone to second and third. He's coming in on for the last lap then. He's got the second place. He's got the second place. He's got the second place. He's got 
straight, 45 time, in race 46. This trip's to hold that second, Lee Barley getting closer with every turn of the wheel. Can he scratch that second place from Chris Smith in this last half a lap? There's number 44, Keith Snelling looks like winning this last heat of the 375. Keith Snelling gets the only right, he gets three times for second and third. Chris Smith is taking Lee Barley. Oh, yeah. Race 46, the win for number 44, Keith Snelling. Second number 73, Chris Smith. And third number 5, Lee Barley. 29 and 246. 1 minute 56.56. 1 minute 56.56. On the line then for race number 47, the forward will take break in the fence there, fourth leg of the intermediates. We've had a few problems with the start gate for the intermediates this afternoon. They had some tremendous racing, but also a few uh, problems at the gate. And it's Jeff Nelson that's got the time with the assemble and pull this uh, fourth and final leg of the youth intermediates. Revenant then for race 47, reached on away we go, Jed Collins making a good start and the fourth was also pretty good away but it's uh, second place he's really going to make Oliver Greenwood work for it this time Shane's just got the third place rider down over on that two two riders down in fact over on that far side two riders have gone down red flags around red flags around There's a rider that's gone down and is receiving attention over on that uh, far side. Let's hope they're going to be okay. Right, because of that problem there with race number 47, we're going to run race 48. Now the 350 solo final, then go back to race 47 to allow the riders to get themselves sorted out. So race 48, the 350 solo final, 19, 33. 17, 144, 193, 8, 61, 84, 213 and 82.
Right, lining up then for the 350 solo final should be a cracking 350 final. Starter walks away, takes cover immediately. Who's going to make the start there? We're looking for Andrew Winnicott making a cracking start. <laughs> He's taken four orders, uh, gone round four orders up on that top corner, goes from the third place. As Smith leads him, the mares in second, it's Kinchin in third, Whittaker's in four, Holker is in five, that's the top five of the Richard Smith is a clear leader there for Vince Kinchin in second. Andrew Whittaker's got third. Dave Mills gets going again, trying to get back around the edge of Andrew Whittaker. So we number 33, Richard Smith. Second number eight, Vince Kinchin. And third number 17, Andrew Whittaker. Fourth number 19, Dave Mears. Fifth number 61, Chris Ward. And sixth number 144, Michael Faulkner. 18, 213, 193, and 84. One minute. 32.57. One minute 32.57. Right, the Royal is assembling then for race number 47, the fourth leg of the intermediates. Takes club starting. Walks away, and we're waiting with this rerun of this intermediate class on a green of the James Shane gets down Shane. Shane comes again back up the inside of Greenwood leads going in the back straight on lap number one. Then Shane's on in second. Collins is in third. Leads to getting away for Adam Porter who's got that four for Billy Milton in fifth place. In Six 
lights will be. Show your appreciation for the intermediates that come around and laugh them on at some superb performance at some really quick times. At times it's been as quick as a two On to race 47, who wins the 3-1-1, Oliver Greenwood. Second number 93, James Shanes. And third number 35, Jeff Collins. 1-1-1. 7. 50. 77. And 27. 1 minute 38.28. 1 minute 38.28. So coming into line then for the 500 sidecar final, race number 49. First I've had six outfits uh, in action at one time during this high hundreds away they go, they're all struggling to grip out of the start. Who's gonna make that start? It is top one the Fourth place looking to find inside Jay Carmel now to go to the back straight for the first time. It's shot in the lead and John Stubbin holding that second place. Dave Carmel making a big move around the outside of that pitch corner on the opening lap. Son and Beard looking to improve upon that fourth place position. Gary South getting in five is Scott and his leg. Hollandale is in six, that's the six. They race into that uh, pitch corner once again. Scott and Natasha Martin. I don't think have dropped the point. Hollandale is dropping back in sixth place, and Gary Southgate trying to come around the end. So it's trying to be able to get through into fourth place. These two locked together for fourth and fifth places. As Scott Dunn is still the clear leader, for Dave Carvel holding that second place position. Josh Goodwin has got the third. is young Josh Goodwin. Son and Beard really pushed him hard there for that third place position as Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkley win the 500 sidecar final. Outfits and Josh Goodwin certainly improving with every outing. He's been riding in quite a few meetings so far in this 2010 season, so uh, and he has improved, I'd say, with every outing. They're going to come round on their lap of honour, so show your appreciation and for the 500 sidecars led round by uh, Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkley, the winner of the 500 sidecars this afternoon. That's Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkley. They lead the parade round now. We've got to Dave Carvel and Carl Webb, Josh Goodwin and the other Mr. Goodwin. Followed by Gary Southgate and Adam Young, Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith. And that looks to be the, uh, just a 
five eighth, it's going to remain no Simon B. It's going to remain on his lap of honour. Result in a race number 49, he went for 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkley. Second number 55, Dave Carville and Carl Webb. And third number 3, Josh Goodwin and Anthony Goodwin. Fourth number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. Fifth number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. And sixth number 46, Richard Hollandale and Paul Smith. 1 minute 37.09, 1 minute 37.09. Coming up then for the upright final, race number 50. And up and running then with this upright final, very joy, thank you, good start. Round the outside, Dave Needham has gone through to fourth place. That's the top four, they go to the back spread on the opening lap and Arnie Fenner. And uh, keeps standing shoulder to shoulder for second and third places. Peter Baker has still been raised in a completely the opening lap. And Australian now retakes that second place for the game. And Arnie Fanning the third. They're getting away from Barry Liner, who's got that fourth place position. But Peter Baker is the man to catch at the front in this upright final place for the clear lead. Liner Second and third in Keith Challenge of eight, two by speed of Arnie Fenner as they go into the pits corner of lap number three. Peter Baker, it's his race to move now, he's running control at the front. Keith Challenge of Arnie Fenner's top two on the inside of as Peter Baker leads into the pits corner on lap number four and it's going to be Peter Baker to win the upright final Peter Baker wins it second place goes to Arnie Sanders it'll be tight for fourth and fifth there's three of us going down that corner So show your appreciation then for the upright finals to the round on their lap of honour. Peter Baker has won the upright final, on his of finishing in second place. Barry Joyce to the round, he's standing at a busy afternoon, riding into the three seventy miles as well, Mr Lane, Lee Barley, Gordon Walker, and Mr Baker. So show your appreciation for those finals then. Finals in the upright final. Race number 50. The result, to win for number one, Peter Baker. Second number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third number 44, Keith Snelling. Fourth number 57, Barry Joyce. Sixth number 5, Lee Barley. And sixth number 246, Barry Lehner. 84, 199 and 189. 1 minute 39.91. 1 minute 39.91. Message from the clerk of the course as the riders assemble for the 1,000cc sidecar final to thank all the marshals, all the lap scorers, all the ambulance personnel who have helped in this meeting to make it the success that it is. Big thank you for all the spectators that have turned up. It's one of the best crowds that families have had. So if you've enjoyed it this afternoon, please tell your uh, friends about Fenlands Grass Trap. They do have two other meetings to race in this close proximity. The one in October is in actually in September, so if you've enjoyed what you've seen this afternoon, please come along and support this club again. That message comes from the clerk of the course. A big thank you to all the riders as well. You've entertained us superbly this afternoon, so thank you very much.
Coming into order in full this thousand, CC side car final should be an absolutely cracking final. Looks like Mark Cost on the inside and the two Winterburn crews next to him then, Paul Johnson. Colin Blackburn, the last to come into line there, looks to be on the fifth gated position. Simon Beanie run on the outside, then Colin Blackburn, then Paul Johnson, the two Winterburn crews, Mark Costa run on the inside, and who's going to make that crucial start? Paul Johnson's gone absolute fly, but Mark Costa's gone through on the inside of St. Rod Winterburn, has gone through into third place, Colin Blackburn has completely missed the start, he's back in fifth place, they're going to the top corner, for the first on the Mark Costa gets to the on the inside, Costa gets through that gap, Johnson trying to get back round the outside, and it's Costa who leads from Johnson, second and fight between these two, they dive into that top corner once again, Costa leads from Johnson, second window version, third window version, four, coming back one and five, Simon Bean is And Rob Winterburn is getting very close to Paul Johnson, that race for second, and he's making a move around the outside, these two locked together, going up the back swing, Rob Winterburn gets around the outside, Paul Johnson to go through in the second place, as Mark Costa and Carl Bryan are starting to get a bit of a Master champion, is looking to win this meeting here at Fenlands this afternoon. It's clear going into that top corner on lap number four. Costa leads it, and Rob Winterburn in second. Paul Johnson third. Guys, Masters champion with his new passenger car blind this afternoon comes out victorious here at Penland's this afternoon. Rob Winterburn eventually got past Paul Johnson, the quick start in Paul Johnson to go through in the second place. And Paul Johnson continuing with his purple patch. He picks up another third place here at Penland's this afternoon. Gareth Winterburn in four, Colin Blackburn five, Simon Beanie in sixth place, superb thousand cc sidecar final. So show your appreciation as they come round the penultimate race of the day. So show your appreciation for the big chairs as usual. Superb entertainment on this big quick track. And um, they're coming around on their lap of honour after race number 51. So show your appreciation for the big chairs, Mark Costa and Carl Bly, they come round in many arms, but one this afternoon, Mark Costa and Carl Bly, the winners this afternoon, they're followed by Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown, Gary Winterburn and Ben Malloy, Colin Blackburn and Martin Smith, Paul Johnson and Mr Woods in the chair, and a good performance from Paul this afternoon there, they finish in their third place, and finally Simon Beanie and Mr Bidler. Race number 51,000 cc side car final with number 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. Second, number 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. And third, number 7, Paul Johnson and Mr Woods. Fourth, number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Ben Malloy. Fifth, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Martin Smith. And sixth, number 76, Steve Beanie and Mr Villa. The winning time, the quickest for the big chairs this afternoon, 1 minute 17.97, 1 minute 17.97. Race 52, 500 solo final, 7, 8, 56, 14, 24, 12, 152, 91, 36 and 92. Just waiting for a couple of riders come out for race 52, the 500 solo final. The climax to a cracking afternoon's racing here on the Fenland's first grass track of the season. The second meeting, of course, will be a Saturday-Sunday meeting with youth and vintage on the Saturday and the adults on the Sunday. And then the one in September is uh, youth and quads on the Saturday and the adults on the Sunday, which is in September, not in October.
Rolling up there for the final loop solo, final, the final race of the day. Holland Cook made a good start from the inside. Vince Kinch in the rod was strong with a good team. Kinch is really wide up on that top corner. And still, when they look in that second place of Holland Cook, this Kinch in leads into the pits corner for the first time. It's Cook who's got the second, Phil has got the third. Richard Rand is in fourth place, and Holland Cook with the top. Inside. As Cook leads Kinchy into that pitch corner on lap number two, superb racing with 500 solo final. It's Cook who leads them. It's Kinchy. And He's won the 250s, he's won the 500 solo as well, so a very busy but a very successful afternoon for young Harlan Cook. He really is riding tremendously well in the early weeks of this 2010 season, so we'll show you appreciation as they come round on their lap of honour, the 500 soloists. So the double this afternoon for Harlan Cook, 250 winner and 500 solo winner as well. So Vince Kinch, good to see Vince back racing with us again. He's going to second Harlan Cook for this afternoon. Richard Brown. And Paul Wycombe Jr. comes in his lap of honour. And the rest of the going to make their way around. So show your appreciation, please. We've got to Harry Seaton. We've got to Steve Harry and Albert Slayle, Mr. Gardner. And that's the ride then for the 500 solo final. Race 52, 500 solo final. The winner number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number eight, Vince Kinchin. And third, number 56, Richard Round. Reed, Richard Reed, sorry. Fourth, number 24, Adam Filman. Fifth, number 152, Aaron Alvis Vale. And sixth, number 12, Dean Garrett. 36, 91, 14, and 92. 1 minute 26.69, 1 minute 26.69. Can we have you up for the presentation? We know we've only just finished racing, but a lot of people running there. Has he gone, Richard? Yeah. And just been told he's gone. So, second place in the 250s, Josh Jingle. Just been told he's gone home. And the winner of the 250s, Helen Cook. Tremendous this afternoon for Harlan winning both the finals this afternoon. So Harlan Cook, your 250 winner. On then to the 350s. The young man is an extremely well against very experienced opposition this afternoon. Third place, Andrew Whitaker. Second place, Vince Kinchin. <laughs> And the winner of the 350s this afternoon, Richard Smith. Two fifty third place. That's it. So you say second? Third. Two fifty. Third place. Okay, Richard. Okay. Well, you're moving on to the 500 solos. In third place, Richard Reed. Yeah, 
Second place, picking up his second second place of the afternoon, Vince Keaton. And the winner of the 500 solos, tremendous double this afternoon, young man very much in form at the moment, 500 solo winner, Harlan Cook. He may run into the uprights, in third place, Keith Snowden. Second place goes to Arnie Fenner. And the winner of the uprights this afternoon, Peter Baker. We're going on to the pre-75s. Third place, Chris Smith. Second place goes to Lee Barley. Second place, Lee Barley. Winner then of the pre 75s, picking up his second award of the afternoon, Keith Snow. Keith Snow, the winner of the pre 75s. Lee yeah, Barley there for second place. Thank you very much. On then to the 500 sidecars in third place. He's improving with every outing. Tremendous performance this afternoon. Josh Goodwin and Anthony Goodwin. Well in second place in the 500 sidecars, Dave Carver and Carl Webb. And the winner of the 500 side crown for the performance this afternoon, Scott Byrne and Natasha Barkley. Right, and the final award in the adult goes to 1,000 CC sidecars. In third place, he really is a man to catch at the moment, Paul Johnson and Andy Wood. In second place, Northern Invaders, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. And the winners of the 1,000cc sidecars this afternoon, Masters Champion Mark Cosser, new passenger, Carl Lai. Right, and moving on to the Youth Awards, we start with the Auto Cadets. Auto Cadets in third place, Morgan Bly. Second place goes to Taylor Springer. And the winner of the Auto Cadets, Chad Wurtzfeld. On then then to the cadets in third place, Connor Oxley. Second position, William O'Keefe. And the winner of the cadet class this afternoon, Tom Brennan. Youth Juniors in third place, Luke Harris. Second position, Kellen Walker. 
and the junior winner this afternoon, Edmund Best. Just to explain the situation there, they both had two wins in two seconds under the new rules, there are no run-offs, and whoever is the winner on the last leg wins it overall. So Edmund Best won that last leg, that's why he's first and Callum Walker is second, they actually finished on equal points, that's just to clarify the situation there. So intermediate, some cracking racing this afternoon, third place, Adam Parkwood! Second position goes to Jeff Collins. And the winner of the intermediates this afternoon, the reigning British intermediate champion, Oliver Greenwood. And the final award is to the youth senior who went out with the intermediates. First place, Liam Kirby. He's been told he's gone home. So any other youth riders that race today didn't finish in the first three, please come and get your mementos now. Thank you. That does conclude the presentation. Thanks for being with us. See you at the grass track soon. Thank you very much. Holding that second place position. Gary Wells just got the third and somebody giving the big hand for right there. Josh King, like you imagine, giving that big hand for him coming around the outside. Johnson and go through in the second place. 